Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Mad Mike. Wow, I haven't been on here in a while. Haven't done a podcast in a while. Uh, man, <laughs> wow! For all those that listen uh, and enjoy my podcast, sorry I've been gone so long. You know, work, bills, family, lots of things going on. You know, life happens. But hey, I'm back. I'm gonna try to keep you know on top of this uh, podcast and push out as much as I can. So here we go. In other words, here's another podcast. Um, this is podcast number thirteen of the Mad Mike Show. Um, I just want to, on this podcast, we're going to be talking about The Crow Reboot. If you're a fan of The Crow, for all those that are fans of Brandon Lee as The Crow in the 1994 film, which I saw that movie as a child, I loved it. It, to this day, is still one of my favorite um, films, you know, right, you know, of course, next to Batman from 1989 being one of my favorite Batman films. Uh, Maybe I'm just a purist, uh, you know, call me a fanboy, call me what you will, but that's what I love. (laughs) Uh, yeah, so I just want to go over, you know, what I found out about the reboot. You know, I've, I've heard for some time they were doing a Crow reboot for a long time, you know, especially after all the sequels, you know, that some sequels to the Crow films, in my opinion, shouldn't have been done out of the, you know, ones that were done. Wicked Prayer was okay. I don't know if anybody saw that one. It was okay. You know, Crow 2 was, it was all right, you know different kind of take on the whole thing and you know part three we just I don't talk about that one <laughs> and then there was this the TV series you know what as a kid I enjoyed it because I was such a fan of the of the first movie and I was like oh this is cool to see you know the the continuation of the first film t- told I guess in the way they were telling it but you know now that I understand how great the first film was and what the you know original story was about and I read the graphic uh, novel that they released and stuff like that which I love I love you know the the book a lot actually after seeing the films a kid and watching it over and over because it's one of those films I can watch like 90,000 times and you know never really get bored with it because it's such a great film to me and probably to a lot of other fans out there I, I must say that the book after reading it you know finally after getting my hands on it and reading it wow it's so violent it's so gritty it's such a a different, a different, how can I say this, like a really different take on the whole thing, it's, it's just really violent and gritty, and it kind of made me like it a little bit more than the film, as much of a diehard fan as I was of the film, you know, because I love The Crow, I I love that darkness about the film, but then reading the book, I I love them both, I love them both, I love the film, Brennan Lee as The Crow was amazing, you know, rest in peace, because he was a great actor, great, you know, he was gonna be that, in my opinion, that next action star, like his father was you know trying to do with the martial arts films and all that stuff but I think the book was just pure amazing I love it I thought the book was just out of this world amazing it was something wow definitely it made me like it a little bit more I don't know you know what I might like it a little bit more than the movie but at the same time it's like I like them both like up there the same they're both there but I just want to say, man, the reboot. I've been, like I said, I've been hearing about the reboot for a long time. I think the reboot, if you know, the technology we have now, we've all seen the Dark Knight trilogy, we've all seen the Man of Steel film, we've seen what nowadays they can do with superhero films. In a way, I think they should leave it alone because I think the movie should just stand on its own, like it was with Brandon Lee in 1994. There's been so many sequels, there's been all that crap, it's like, you know, do we, do you really want to keep messing with it? That, that's one way you can look at it, but at the same time, I think with the right actor, the right, you know, and James O'Barr is going to be involved with it, I've read that, and with him being involved and supporting it, and it being a good retelling from what I've read, that's awesome, so... I think the reboot with the technology we have now and everything, I think it'll be a cool idea. I'm excited to see what they'll do with it. I pray they do it justice to the original film and to the book and they do it right. And I hope it's all done correctly. I'm very excited. I'm I'm like excited, but like uh, at the same time, you know, like please do it right. <laughs> you know, please do it justice. You know, th- that's how I feel about it. So Luke Evans was going to play him. But then, apparently, from what I read online the other day, he dropped out of the role, which I thought Luke Evans would have been a great crow. That would have been cool. Um, And now they've gotten Jack Houston. 
or or Jake. You know, I, I got to re uh, reread his name. Actually, I've, <laughs> you know, I, I was actually a fan of his character on Boardwalk Empire. I love Boardwalk Empire. It's a great show. Recommend checking it out if you haven't. Very very good show about the whole Prohibition era and stuff like that. But yeah, him playing the crow, I think he can do it. He played. He's a great actor. He played a good role on that show. He can play a dark, crazy character. And I really think he can pull it off. I'm excited to see his version of The Crow, to see how he does it. I'm excited to see that James O'Barr is back being involved with the film. And, and, he's, and he's very happy with, with doing it again. And I think that's awesome. So I'm excited for it, but nervous at the same time. But I got faith it'll, it'll pull into a great film. And I'm, I believe they're going to start filming in about three months. That's what I was told. So yeah, uh, Crow reboot. Uh, you know, Jack Houston's gonna be playing uh, what you call it, the Crow. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be great. And you know, hey, I love the film, and you know, it's a reboot. You know, you can <laughs> sometimes reboots are hit hits and misses. You know, let's hope this is a hit and not a miss, especially with this type of film and what they're doing. All right, so that's my you know little podcast about that today about the Crow. Um, reboot. So, any other thoughts on that? Please just, you know, comment, uh, listen to this podcast, tell your friends to listen to the podcast. I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, look at my other videos, check it out. I'd appreciate the support. Um, this is Mad Mike, over and out.